So, the Martini Henry Sniper. Is it worth the grind? DICE introduced this new variant as part of the spring patch for the game, and this is the first of the four new variants that I've unlocked. I've spent a lot of time switching classes and playing with different weapons, and I do that pretty much every day when I play Battlefield 1. So I've got some good progression across all of these new variants, but this was the first one to cross the finish line. Let's find out if it's worth it, all that effort that I put in to unlock it. So firstly, to unlock the new variant, you need to be a Scout level 10 and have access to the original Martini Henry variant, the Factory. Once you're at that stage, you need to land 25 bayonet charge kills and a lofty 300 kills with the Martini Henry Factory. There's no order for this assignment and you don't even need to get the bayonet charge kills with the Martini Henry either. You can get those from any weapon in the game. All the kills are just a pure grind, and you're going to need to play plenty of rounds to get yourself up to that 300 kill target. My own suggestion, hop onto some medium range maps like Amiens or St. Quentin Scar, where the distance between you and the enemy is never too large, so that you can use those iron sights effectively. And to that point, really, I just want to say quickly that in today's video, most of the clips that you're going to see in the background will be uncut. That's to say you'll see me almost from a spawn point until the moment I die. So there's going to be no cutting out of near misses in the middle and the quieter moments of the gameplay. And this is really so that you can get a sense of how I'm really doing with the weapon. You're going to see some full kill streaks in there. There might be 30 seconds where I don't get a kill, but there might be a few missed hits where I got really close to the enemy. And it kind of gives you an idea of how I managed to get the weapon under control and, and start to understand it. This footage has been taken pretty much from the first few rounds after I unlocked the weapon. And those are the rounds really where you're finding your feet with the new weapon you've unlocked. So I wanted to give this a go and if it's something that you guys enjoy seeing me not doing as well as normal but perhaps seeing some proper real gameplay not edited to make it look really really good. If you guys like that I'll do some more of that in the future. So once you've unlocked the variant, you've got your 25 bayonet charge kills, you've got your 300 kills with the Martini Henry factory. My first piece of advice for the Martini Henry sniper, go into the customize menu and switch this thing down to a 5 times optical zoom. This is my first big issue with this variant, but it's one that you can get used to fairly quickly if you make this change straight away. The Martini rifle in general can be considered a close to medium range option. As with most rifles in Battlefield 1, it comes with its own damage sweet spot range, and that sits between 30 and 80 meters, so fairly close to you when you're using a rifle. And in those ranges, you're going to be doing maximum damage, and you can score those one shot kills to the upper torso. Instantly, the Martini Sniper then doesn't appear to be playing to the rifle's ingrained strengths. Why use a sniper scope, one that's specifically made for long range accuracy, on a rifle that performs optimally at close to medium range? I voiced this opinion before, and it actually put me off using the weapon when I was testing it in the CTE, but now that I've had more of a chance to use it in normal public servers against normal players, I've adjusted a little bit. See, if you set the zoom to 5x on the new Martini Henry Sniper, then you're only just higher than the maximum 4x that a marksman scope could provide you, which is the scope that I think developers should have added to the Martini Henry and then made a marksman variant of the rifle. Now the difference isn't all that noticeable, but you do have to put up with a bit more screen space being taken by that sniper scope, which in some cases can block your view of enemies and potential threats. You just have to be a little bit careful, and I still would prefer a Martini Henry with a marksman scope. Besides that zoom then, which is probably the main reason that you're grinding to unlock this new sniper variant, what other benefits does the Martini Henry Sniper actually offer you? Well, you do get a built-in bipod for greater accuracy potential when you're firing from behind cover or you're proning. Personally, I didn't really find much use for this, much less so the proning option because, again, the rifle just doesn't suit that particular playstyle. 
If you're going to use a bipod on a rifle in Battlefield 1, then again we can assume that you're going to be shooting at longer range. And the Martini just isn't built for that. And you'd be much better off using something like the Gewehr 98 or the M1903 Springfield, both of which come with a far greater bullet velocity. Which brings me on to my next issue with the Martini Sniper. The Martini Henry has a bullet or muzzle velocity of just 440 meters a second. That again ties in with its strengths lying at close to medium range. 440 meters a second and then calling that a strength doesn't really add up, so what do I mean by this? Well, the closer the player is, the less distance the bullet actually has to travel, and therefore that slow velocity value has less and less impact on you landing your shots. At long range, 440 meters a second is bad. It's really, really bad, like I said, in comparison to other rifles that you could choose in the Scout class. And then, you also have to consider bullet drag as well. This is a brand new mechanic that DICE have brought into the franchise, where as the bullet flies, it will start to slow down, so the further it travels, the slower it gets. If you take that bullet drag into account and the bullet velocity being very slow already, and then once again assess the usefulness of a sniper scope on the weapon. It just doesn't make any sense, and this is why I think it's so important that you make sure that you have this weapon set to a 5x optical zoom the moment you unlock it. Anything higher than that, and I think you're going to struggle badly hitting those long range shots, unless you're this master of maths and you can work out how many pixels in front of the target you need to lead at long range in a fraction of a second before you pull the trigger. I'm sure there are many of you out there who can do that, but for the average player, the importance of sticking the scope at 5 times zoom on the Martini Henry Sniper is extremely high. I highly recommend you do it. And lastly, something that I think severely limits the Martini Henry Sniper, and yet again it has something to do with this sniper scope, it's the design of the rifle inherently. It's a breech loading single shot rifle, and DICE have decided to stick that sniper scope on top of it. That makes those medium range shots so much harder to follow up because it takes a good few seconds for your rifle to be ready to fire again you cannot rely on your sidearm at medium range because the damage drop-off past 30 meters or so is quite severe. This weapon can leave you very vulnerable in certain situations with not a lot of options to get yourself out of them. That's my biggest thing with the Martini Henry Sniper. It shouldn't be a sniper variant. I think it should be a marksman variant. And it baffled me even seeing it in the first place because it only took me a few seconds to understand why this wouldn't be a good match. So then, is the Martini Henry Sniper worth the grind to unlock it? Well, if you've been listening for the past eight minutes or so, I think you'll have gathered what my opinion really is of the weapon. Personally, I will use the weapon, but when you compare it to the factory variant, I'd have to say taking the sniper would be an inferior choice. If the weapon had been fitted with the marksman scope so that we could get down to that magic 4 times zoom that seems to work really well in Battlefield 1, then I think this weapon could have been a hell of a lot better. But ultimately, as the weapon is single shot, you're going to struggle with the follow-ups whenever there's range involved. Magazine-fed rifles will always have the one-up on the Martini Henry Sniper. Thanks very much for watching. Let me know what you think of the Martini Henry Sniper down below in the comments section. And I'll be back soon with another video on the new weapons. I've still got three of them to unlock, and I think I'm closest to the Selbstlader 1906 from the Medic class. I'm really struggling with the Hell Regal Defensive, trying to get those anti-tank mine kills. I'm trying to do it on Amien, but people just don't want to drive over the top of them. Apparently you can shoot them and you'll get the kill with the anti-tank mine, as opposed to the weapon that you shot the explosive with. I think that's how it works. I'm not 100% and I think I might have to resort to doing that in order to get the kill so that I can unlock it. But most likely the next weapon that you're going to see from me here is the Selbstlader 1906 for the Medic class. But until then, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.